Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And today we got to talk about this right now. You, if you haven't heard the news yet, Samsung is considering going over to Wear OS. Yes, we talked about fully going over to Wear OS. Now, this is just rumors and speculation at this point, but the fact that it's a rumor draws about some concerns, at least with me it does. So we want to talk about whether or not Samsung should fully go over to Wear OS or not. And I want you to help answer that question. Let me know your thoughts on whether you think they should or not. But I got five reasons as to why they should not go fully over to Wear OS. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I'm glad you stayed. Listen, we're going to have some fun talking about this topic. And what we're going to be talking about is whether or not Samsung should fully go over to Wear OS or not. Now, there's been talk about it. It's just rumors at this point. For those of you all who don't know, yes, Samsung is considering going over to Wear OS to make a smartwatch with Google, right? Now, that's cool and fine. But to ditch Tizen, I think is a problem. I think it's a bad move on Samsung part if they're even thinking about doing so and we're going to talk about why as we go through the reasons okay now in my opinion right i gotta say this right now the gears 3 is the king of smartwatches. now samsung do not get they do respect so far as what they brought to the table but there's many of us who are going to give them their propers i had to get that out there don't be mad at me hit me in the comment section below let me know your thoughts and your feelings i am cool with that right so let's get on with this right reason number one the ui now first of all samsung has the cleanest ui in my opinion especially with notifications and more so with their widgets and ease of use. You can get in, you can get out. The carousel, not the carousel, but the rotating bezel makes it real easy to use. So I'm liking the feel. I'm liking the usability of this smartwatch. And if we go over to Wear OS, because of course, you know, Google, Google puts limits. You cannot tweak the OS at all. Now, if they're going to change some things with Wear OS, you know, with this upcoming smartwatch that they're going to partner with, with Samsung, maybe they'll change some things. But all the way up to this point, you cannot take away from and you cannot add to. The only thing that you can change or add to or tweak at all is the hardware. That's it. That's all. Reason number two. Now, reason number two, I have to say is Samsung Pay. Hold on. Just, just hear me out, right? Hear me out on this one. First of all, if we fully go over to Wear OS, we're gonna get Android Pay, right? Now, the thing that I like about Samsung Pay, and not a lot of people use it, I, I like it. Now, it is convenient to use, a little bit more convenient than Android Pay. Why? First of all, we get the magnetic strip technology, which means that we have more places that we can go where we can use this thing. Android Pay is not there yet. So these are one of the conveniences that we're gonna miss about, of course, Tizen, if we fully go over to Wear OS. So I think it's a bad deal, guys. Hit me in the comment section below. I wanna know what you think about Samsung Pay. Number three, now number three is the rotating bezel. Yes, this is a feature that I believe I would miss if we fully go over to Wear OS. Why? Because it makes it super convenient. They just got through adding the feature and there's been arguments about this feature being here or not. That's neither here nor there. I didn't know it was here. I like the usability of it to be able to answer my phone without having to smudge up my smartwatch. Well, it's not just answering the phone, right? Whatever application I want to get to, if I want to get to my steps, if I want to get to my music, if I want to get to any application I want to, my notifications, I could do that without smudging up my screen. This is one of the things we're going to miss if we fully go over to Wear OS. And this to me, in my opinion, is a super convenience. All right, you all, number four is a big deal. What we're talking about, we're talking about notifications. Now you gotta hit me, you gotta let me know your thoughts on this one, right? To me, notifications are very, very important because if I need to get to something, if I need to go check something that I didn't have time to check on, I wanna be able to get to it with no problem. I wanna be in and out. And that's what I mean by usability. Usability is a feature that I look for out of any device. Now, let's talk about it, right? Now, Apple Watch doesn't offer this. Android, well, Wear OS doesn't offer it neither. And what do I mean? Let's take a look at Wear OS, right? Wear OS, when that notification comes up, you know, if you don't answer it right away and notifications that come in piles up on top of that, you got to go through every single notification in order to find that notification that you're looking for, whether it's a text message, whether it's an email. And that's very, very inconvenient. Me, I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to eventually pick up my phone and I'm going to check my notification from there. Now, Let's talk about Tizen. Let's talk about the Gear S3. Now, what I like about what Samsung brought about here, they categorize all your notifications, right? You got emails, 
by themselves. You get Gmail by themselves. You get text messages by themselves. You got your phone calls by themselves. Every notification that you may have, WhatsApp, are all categorized. Now, if I go into my email, the most recent one, yes, I can answer that, but I can go back on previous emails that are in that listing as well. And this makes for a super usable, convenient smartwatch, in my opinion. That's just in my opinion. You got to hit me in the comment section down below. I would like to know what you think. Is notifications important to you? Now, this is one of the things that we're going to miss if we fully go over to Wear OS. Now, let's Wear OS eventually, sometime, really, really soon, change some things, right? Okay, you all, last but not least, reason number five, battery life. Now, battery life, of course, to all people are very important. I mean, we're getting one to one and a half, maybe two days, to peak, depending on what you're tweaking on your smartwatch. Me, I don't tweak anything. I let everything ride. Now, we're only getting one to two and a half days, right? Okay, that's fine. We can stand a boost in battery life up to at least four days. You know, we got some waiting to do. That's fine, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Samsung with Tizen having the ability that no other smartwatch that I know of have is the ability to put this thing in power saving mode. I'm talking about even at 10%. Yes, 10%. I'm talking about this battery just creeps along. So if you're not going home for the day and you're going to be out for a day or two, this will stretch your battery life out like nobody's business. And that's one of the things I'm really going to miss about this because I don't think that Google is going to allow them to bring that over when they go over to Wear OS. I don't know. But you, you hit me in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that Google will allow them to bring this feature to Wear OS? Me, my opinion, I don't think so. But that's neither here nor there. I would like to hear what you think. All right, you all, listen, first off, this was definitely a good topic. My opinion is, is I think Samsung should not ditch Tizen. Don't ditch Tizen, Samsung. If you're listening, don't do it. Keep Tizen, partner with Google, you know, consider that a project. But do not let go of Tizen. Tizen is your baby. It's homegrown. And I've grown up with it from the original gear. All right, you all. That's going to be it. I kind of ran it a little bit. But hey, that's it. Hit me in the comment section below. I would like to know your thoughts. Do you think they should fully go over to Wear OS? Or do you think they should stick with Tizen? And or do you think they should do both? Stick with Tizen and then build a relationship with Google with Wear OS. All right, you all, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button on the way out. And if you want to see more videos like this, then by all means, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And again, you know what I'm about to say. I will see you all at the next video. Take care.